how did the Las Vegas real estate market fare for August 2019? Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team. Welcome to my monthly market update uh, for Southern Nevada. Today I will be going over August 2019 numbers. Before I get started with the numbers, I just really wanna talk about what's going on with the real estate market right now. Basically, the interest rates are at their all-time lows. They're lower than they have been in the last two years. So my question is, is if you are thinking about buying, why are you not? Uh, there is at least 8,000 homes available. The interest rates are really low. Granted, people think that the prices are gonna be going down, that there's gonna be a crash, there's all this talk about recession. But unfortunately, we don't know if there's gonna be a recession and I seriously doubt the interest rates are gonna go below 3%. So right now, what we've been seeing a trend in Las Vegas is that we have been seeing a two to 5% appreciation in the medium sales price. So the medium sales price has been going up and people are waiting until next year to buy because they think that everything's gonna go down. I don't see it happening. Right now, this season, the fall season, is the best time to buy. We don't know what's gonna happen with the interest rates. There is an election year. There's a lot happening. <laughs> and why live your life with fear of uncertainty? We don't know what's gonna happen. No one can predict the future and everyone can analyze things. But right now, why not take advantage of this very low interest rate? Next year, it could be back up to 4.5 like it was for a year ago. It just makes sense, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to you know, say that before we dove into the numbers. Our streak is over. Southern Nevada is no longer the fastest growing um, city with home prices. Phoenix actually surpassed us, which is fine. Phoenix is a big, big city. Um, comparable in a way to the Las Vegas market, but in a very grand scale. A lot of people want to move to Phoenix now because their prices are just a tad bit lower. However, people don't realize that Phoenix still has state income tax. Unlike Nevada, we have no state income tax and our property taxes are pretty low. I'm not sure how the property taxes are for Phoenix, but I know that in Southern Nevada, our property taxes are very reasonable. Oh, and I also wanna clarify where I get my numbers from. I get all my numbers from the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. And as a realtor, I listen to a lot of other agents' market updates, and half the time they're never correct. I don't even know where they're getting their figures from. But I know that my figures are 100% accurate because they come from the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. So just food for thought on that one, that my numbers are 100% accurate. So according to GLVAR, 3,168 houses sold for the month of August, up 0.3% from July, and up 3.1% from August 2018. And the medium sales price of previously owned single family homes, which always compromises the bulk of the market, increased from 303,000 to 305,000, up 0.7% from the previous month, and up 3.4% from the prior year. So it's very important to remember. So last year, our medium sales price was not this high. I think it was hovering between the 290 to 299 range, and now um, it's at 305. So like I said in the beginning of this video, we are still going up, not as fast as we were last year. However, the interest rates are lower than they were last year. So now is the time to buy. There's over 8,000 homes to choose from. As your agent, I can get you a great deal, either lower in price, but the key factor is actually getting the sellers to pay for all the closing costs, and that's where the savings really begins. Southern Nevada had a total of 4,113 new listings for the month of August, down 0.2% from July, and down 4.3% from the prior year. 
However, there are a total number of 7,766 single family homes that did not sell last month, down 0.5% from July and up 33.5% from the prior year. And again, there's still about a 2.5 months of housing supply on the market. And as I mentioned in last month's video, we've been hovering around 2.5 and 2.7% for a very long time. I don't even remember when it hasn't been that number. Again, as I said in previous videos, months of supply is a good indicator if it's really a seller or buyer's market. Obviously, because the months of supply is on the lower end, that's still an indicator that it is a seller's market. However, don't let that fool you because of the amount of inventory we have on hand, buyers can score some really great deals. And did I mention those interest rates? And 52.4% of the closings last month were on the market for 30 days or less. And that's um, been hovering around that number as well. Uh, that means that houses aren't selling as fast as they were from a year ago. Last year, as I mentioned in last month's video, they were hovering around 80% of the houses were selling in the first 30 days. So again, that's an indicator of what? The houses are priced, overpriced, or these houses need some work and they've been on the market for a long time because they can't compete with the houses that are move-in ready. So really this month, it was a good month. It was a very good month and I foresee it to continue to be going up and being better. Again, I think one of the key factors is the interest rates being a lot lower than what they have been. Um, it's If I were you, I would take advantage of it. Either refinance your home or buy a home. It's, it's a great time to buy right now, I'm telling you. And especially the fall and winter time, a lot of people think um, listing your home during the spring season is good and people buy, and yes, that's great. April, May, and June are the best times to sell your home. However, as a buyer, the best times to buy is actually the fall and winter season because there's not much competition. Not too many people are out buying. No one wants to buy during this time. And um, so there's not much competition. You can really, really score some deals. I've helped out numerous clients during this season get some really great deals, um, either lowering the price or asking for the sellers to pay for all the closing costs. Not much else to say about what's going on in the real estate market. Again, last month was a great month and I don't see it for the rest of the season going down. So that's about it for this monthly market update. Not too much really else exciting is happening. Um, if you'd like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I provide a link down in the description below. Also, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Las Vegas area, I posted a link to a buyer and seller form down below. It's a beautiful Sunday. Um, finally, fall is here. The weather is cooling down, thankfully. I love my mornings, I love my evenings, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team and I'm here to help you with all your real estate needs. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to, you know, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing with my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas area. Thank you so much for watching today and hope to see you guys on the next one.